system analysis and design and overview. What is the system analysis and design? System analysis is the process of understanding, specifying in detail what the information system should accomplish. System design is the process to define and describe in detail how the component of information system should be physically implemented. Who is the system analyst? The system analyst bridges the gap between the business users and computer technicians. The course objectives to understand the principles and motivation behind system analysis and design where they fit in the context of system development. To understand how successfully gather, analyze, and manage user requirement in preparation for system development. To be conversant with two approach of system development, which are the traditional data centers approach, the more recent object-oriented approach. The topic that will be covered in this course, introduction to system development life cycle, requirement engineering, decision table, computer-aided software engineering, modeling process requirement, modeling data requirement, ERD techniques, coding system, introduction to object-oriented approach, and assemble the ob object-oriented approach diagram, the use case diagram. Four references have been used in preparation of this course. What does a system analyst do? He studied the problems and requirements of an organization to determine how people, methods, and computer technology can best accomplish improvement for the business. In this diagram, we can see the business user, the query user, the clients, technical staff, middle manager user, executive user, all of them must be served from the information system that we will build. In this diagram, we can see different types of information system. On the right side, decision support system, executive information system, and expert system. On the left side, the management information system, transaction processing system. In the middle, we can see different type of database that can be accessed from this system like operational database, work group database, and personal database, and knowledge base that can be accessed from the expert system. The system development life cycle starts with survey the project scope and feasibility, study and analysis the current system, define the end user requirement, Select a feasible solution, acquire computer hardware and software, design the new system, construct the new system, deliver the new system, and at the last, maintain and improve the system. Models, techniques, and tools support system development life cycle in conjunction with methodology. Models is a representation of some important aspect of the real world. The model used in system development include representation of input, output, process, data, object, object interaction, lo location, network, and device, like graphical, mathematical, and physical. Techniques is a collection of guidelines that help the analyst complete a system development activity or task, like the data modeling technique, software testing techniques, the tools that are support software that help to create a model or other component required in the project, like computer-aided software engineering, in the case tools, integrated development environment. In this diagram, we can see the requirement conceptual design, logical design, and physical design, but we can follow a data center approach or object-oriented approach. If we can follow the data center approach, we need to uh, make an interview documentation survey, and the relationship diagram, DFD, tables, relation, columns, uh, with its attributes primary and foreign key, fields, records, and pointers. If we follow the object-oriented approach, so we can uh, make the interview, documentation, survey, 
use case diagram, class diagram, is the schema and class definition. What are the essential principles for successful system development? The system is for the end user to establish phases and tasks, the problem solving skill. System development is not a sequential process. The system are a capital investment. Don't be afraid to cancel. Documentation is a product of all phases. What counts as a project failure? Complete failure implies no deliverable output. Other types of failure include cost overrun, software quality problem, missed deadline, unsatisfied stakeholders, and operational failure.